How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can use Private Internet Access VPN or PIA. So I'll show you guys how to install the VPN and where you can get it. Of course, you're going to need a subscription. So if you're interested in PIA, you'll find a link in the description down below that'll give you an extra discount if you're interested in private internet access, and you'll find a full review if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Now, all you need to do really, uh, let's say you're on uh, your mobile device, uh, whether iOS or Android or your Galaxy tab or any other pad, you will just need to go to your store, whether it's the App Store or Android um, or Google Play Store rather, just look up PIA and you'll be able to download it and go from there. If you're on the desktop, just go to apps and pick your uh, device here. So I'm on a Windows. If you're on Mac, it's the same thing. Just go to Mac OS and click the, uh, of course, you'll be able to download it right away, but I'm just going to cancel it uh, and you'll be able to download it. And once it's downloaded, just click install and hit next on everything and you will be met with an application that looks like this assuming that you already have your subscription you're going to have to input your credentials and you'll be good to go from there so private internet access is a wonderful vpn uh, especially for people that are looking for plenty of settings now uh, there are so many servers with private internet access. Now, a lot of uh, sources claim that private internet access has up to 35,000 servers. Other sources say it has over 10,000. Long story short, it has a lot of servers, probably more than any other VPN in the business. And it's got over 70 countries at your disposal here. There are so many countries at hand that you'll be able to uh, connect to a nearby country, no matter your location in the world, all right? And of course, this is the user interface. Now, it looks a little bit, it may look a little bit cluttered, uh, but you can select which one to remove. So you can just, um, let's say, uh, select that and you can just clean up the interface if you would like. But if you go to settings, you'll notice that we've got plenty of settings here, starting with the general, you've got some startup options, launch on startup and whatnot, and you can select your theme, uh, dark theme, light theme, whatever it is, these are all uh, up to preference. But let's go to protocols. Now with protocols, you have OpenVPN and WireGuard. Uh, WireGuard is going to be the faster option, but if you're looking for a more customizable option, you can adjust the encryption from 256 to 128. 256 will be more secure, 128 will be a little less secure, just a little bit, and uh, it'll be faster and you can go from uh, TCP to UDP, TCP being the slower option, but of course faster, and you can uh, select ports, but I recommend just sticking to the default port, it will uh, do the job for you you uh, let's go to networks you have dns options um, you can select the pia dns um, existing dns uh, you can make your own custom dns if you'd like you can request port forwarding if you are into the port forwarding uh, business uh, especially if you are into torrenting or if you'd like to um, get remote access through your router by port forwarding it's a whole other topic you can tell how uh, PIA is just made for uh, the advanced user that really wants to customize their VPN as much as possible. With privacy, of course, you have a VPN kill switch, which will cut your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. And you have an advanced kill switch, which will prevent leaks by blocking any traffic from going outside the VPN, even when the VPN is turned off. And an ad blocker, which of course will require you using the PIA DNS. So you just go back to PIA DNS and you'll be able to activate the ad blocker. Of course, you get dedicated IP. You can buy your own dedicated IP if uh, that's something you're interested in. With automation, you can create rules to automatically connect or disconnect the VPN when you join a particular network. You get split tunneling, which will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. Uh, and you can, it's not just for applications, it's also for IP addresses. So you can have a specific application such as your torrenting client, for example, and 
uh, you can set it to bypass or use the VPN while the rest of your connection is left outside the VPN if you select use the VPN and if you select bypass VPN it will make the application bypass the VPN tunnel while the rest of your connection is routed through the VPN tunnel. Multi-hop are servers that will uh, have you route your connection through two servers rather than one for double the security and you have of course the SOX5 proxy for extra security if you would like and that's pretty much it for private internet access it's a uh, very customizable vpn it's a wonderful vpn of course you do get a 30-day money-back guarantee with pia if you're not satisfied with the service for whatever reason and you do get live chat support as well if you'd like to ask any questions and remember you'll be able to secure up to 10 devices with a single subscription with pia so it's a wonderful vpn if you'd like to share your account around or if you have many devices to secure so that'll be it for this video hope you guys learned something if you guys are interested in pia you'll find a link in the description down below which will offer you an extra discount and you'll also find a full review if you'd like to learn more about pia again with regards to the privacy policy speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security features that'll be it for this video comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity. thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day